I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a review of the Adventurer Charge Controller from Renogy. Now this is a solar charge controller. Um, it's a little bit higher end than the basic one, which is the Wanderer model over here. Um, and what you get with the Adventurer versus the Wanderer is um, you get a little LCD screen on here. It does connect to the Renogy Bluetooth module, so you're able to monitor the stats on your system through your phone, through the Renogy Bluetooth app and you get a little more visibility into the system right here on the device. So I can press these select buttons. You can see it's giving me the voltage on the, the uh, panels, the amperage on the panels. They're in, basically in shade right now, so there's not that much. The total generation of the system since the last restart. The battery voltage, 12 and a half volts. Battery temperature, 25 degrees and then it's going to go back to the panel voltage and you can actually force it to go through these and it has a little light as well by pressing the button there um, and you can see you know, switch through for each. Um, it also adds a USB port if you want to be charging a cell phone or something like that um, and if you flip around to the back here you can see it's a fairly similar layout to what you have on the Wanderer um, where you basically have your battery uh, leads coming in and going into the screw terminals. You've got your panels coming in here. You always want to put the battery in first before you plug in your panels. Uh, this is the connector for the Bluetooth over here. So I have it connected to the Renogy Bluetooth and then I haven't installed these yet but another thing that the Adventurer model adds is um, there's a port here for a remote battery temperature sensor and battery voltage sensor so it can measure those more accurately and those are included with the adventurer so you can pretty easily um, plug those in and get extra monitoring that you wouldn't get with a more basic model um, another advantage with this is that you're able to charge lithium batteries there is a lithium version of the wanderer now but this is able to charge the lithium batteries um, and overall just a little bit higher end, a little higher quality. It adds this monitoring which I find really helpful to kind of at a glance see how the system is performing, um, see where you're at with battery voltage and that kind of thing. A little more customizability and then definitely um, having those uh, voltage and temperature sensors versus the Wanderer just comes with a temperature sensor uh, port but it doesn't include the sensor itself. Um, so those are the main advantages here. Uh, one thing I, I'm kind of on the fence about, if you can flush mount this, um, you can see the panel is basically flush here, so if you wanted to put it into a space on the wall of an RV or something like that, or in a boat, um, then it's a little bit easier to get a clean layout on it. Um, my challenge with that is that if you screw it into the wall, like I'm going to be doing here, then it's hard to access the ports on the back if you want to unplug your panels or anything because there's no screw terminals on the front. Uh, but overall, this is performing really well. It's a great system. You can get it from Renogy. I think it was about $80. Um, they also tend to have them available on Amazon. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel.